ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. I'm Jake, and today we're going to meet the gorilla and the lion, two animals that live in family groups. Oh, gee, that reminds me, Jake. I miss my family group. Oh, well, well, well Stinky, uh, all of us here at the show are kind of a family. Yeah, but I want to be even more like a family. Oh. oh, well, then why don't we ask our guest what it takes to be part of a family group? Yeah, and whatever they tell us to do, we'll do. Uh, only if it makes sense. <laughs> Since when did we start making sense? <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Yep. Today, let's look at one of the strongest animals in the world. Oh, hey, hey, that'd be my uncle Arnold Schwarzenhawk. He can lift an entire dinner roll with his bare beak. Yeah, no, Armstrong. Huh? I'm talking about the incredible gorilla. Ooh. The male, or silverback, weighs in at over 350 pounds and stands nearly six feet tall. Wow. The gorilla is almost pure muscle. Oh, well, uh, my Uncle Arnold is almost pure feather. The gorilla can snap a five-inch stalk of bamboo like it's a twig and could easily break an arm or leg with its bare hands. Gee, Uncle Arnold has trouble breaking a sweat. The mighty gorilla. Another animal that makes my Uncle Arnold look like a wimp and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> and now it's time to bring out a guest... ...who's going to tell us how to be more like a family. From the lowland coast to the central highlands of Africa... Africa! Here's Gilda, the gorilla! Oh, strange to be alone! We mountain gorillas are never alone! Well, at least I got you two! Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to the show, Gilda! Oh, it's good to be amongst friends! Aw, oh, well, you know, we want to be more like a gorilla family. Can you tell us what it's like living in a family group? Better yet, I'll show you! Oh, oh. You brought a clip? Oh, yes! I love oh, boy. this! Oh, boy. Uh, well, they certainly do look comfortable. Mm. Oh, they are, they are. And we're very lucky to catch these gorillas at rest. Our family groups are almost always on the move. Well, is someone chasing you? No, Jake. We travel to look for food. My favorite kind of trip. Mm -hmm. These these are mountain gorillas, the largest, rarest, and most powerful of all apes. The uh, dominant male of the group is called a silverback. Well, why is that? Well, Jake, when the males of the group get older, they develop a streak of gray fur across their backs. Hey, I've got a streak of white fur across my back. I wonder if I'm part gorilla. Oh, <laughs> I don't think huh? so, Stinky. You see, gorillas are primates and most closely related to humans. Well, you're better looking than humans. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> I think so, too. Now, are they headed off to look for more food? That's right, Jake. Our families travel together as a group. There is always one uh, dominant male, oh. uh, a few other males and females, plus the young gorillas who hang on for the ride. Hold on tight, Junior. Oh, he will. He will. These young gorillas have a good grip, believe me. Now, <laughs> do, do you always travel together as a group? Oh, always. Oh, we've got to remember that, Jake. Uh, we must always travel together as a group. Gotcha. There are so many advantages to being a family like ours. First of all, these forests can be filled with danger. It's not so bad for adult gorillas, but we must always be on the lookout for animals that might hurt our young. So living in a group helps you protect the smaller members of the family. Uh -huh. Yeah, little guys like me. Right, and we're also very social animals. We enjoy the company of other gorillas when we go looking for the very best places to eat. What do you eat? Or who do you eat? Gorillas are so big, you guys could probably munch a leopard for lunch. Oh, actually, Stinky, we mostly eat leaves, shoots, and stems like this gorilla is doing. You, you are such a large animal, if you don't mind me saying that. Oh, it's a compliment. You, you must eat a lot of leaves. Yes, we do. We eat almost around the clock, taking off just an hour or two to rest and digest our food. Hey, that's my eating schedule, too. We're also very picky eaters. Gorillas don't like to eat the rough outer skins of plants. We rip that away like this gorilla is doing and eat the juicy middle. Well, it looks delicious. Oh, it is. And the juice of these plants is very important to us. Gorillas drink very little water. 
So this juice must give us all the moisture our bodies need. Yum, uh, yum. The jungle is your salad bar. Oh, that it is, Stinky. Now, Gilda, you mentioned there's a dominant male in your group. Ooh. What does that mean? Jake, that's the gorilla who gets the most fan mail. <laughs> Not quite, Stinky. The dominant male is the leader of our group. Does he have to run for election? Oh, no. The leader is always the strongest male gorilla, like this fella here. Mm. It's his responsibility to protect the other gorillas in the group and decide where we should go to get food. Hey, Jake, if you want to protect us, I'll decide where to eat. Sounds good to me. In time, one of these younger gorillas will take over this group. Oh, cute. This young gorilla here is practicing his chest pounding. That's called a threat display. Why is it called that? Because a gorilla usually pounds its chest to scare off other animals or to warn gorillas from other families that they've wandered into our territory. Living in a family group sure sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Except for all those mosquitoes. Oh, Stinky, it's all part of jungle life. Well, thank you, Gilda, for telling us so much about living in family groups. Mm. Happy to help. Now I'm going back to my family. Oh. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Boy, Jake, my favorite part of family groups is kids. Oh, me too, because without kids, we wouldn't be able to have <gasps> baby, baby talk. talk. <laughs> How can you guys just lie around doing nothing all day? Then I won't do nothing. I'll play with you if oh. that's what you want. <laughs> and I'll play too. Oh, I'll bite your... I'll bite your... Yeah, 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 tail. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to bite my tail. Because I'm going to bite... I'm <laughs> Come on, Dad. Don't you want to play? Come on. It'll be fun. Get in touch with your inner cub. Uh, I think you'd better get in touch <laughs> with your mother. Uh, dear, dear, a little uh, help here. Good yes, Jake, uh, good you go. Jake. Come play with me, sweetie, oh. and let Daddy rest. OK, Mum, what do you want to play since Dad doesn't want to play? <laughs> Anything you want to... Look, I'll play with you later. Hmm? All right. You know, dear, I really am getting a little what? tired of oh. this. Ow. No, you can't be tired. The day's young. And all the experts say it's good to play with your cubs. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I'm getting off you. I got his leg. Oh, I love to play. <laughs> so, Jake, we're going to live as a big family group with everybody together all the time. Hey, everybody, come on over. Come okay, on. okay, but I want to know more about parents and babies. Where would we find out something like that? Right here. knows the answer. Oh, me, 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 me. Not you. You. Oh. Sir, can you answer this question? Uh, yeah. Which of the following animals is not, I repeat, not a gorilla? This one, this one, this one, or this one? Your answer. Well, uh, as a sloth, uh -huh. I'll have to say the animal uh -huh. who is not a gorilla is the last one. And I would have to say, you are wrong! Because the animal that is not a gorilla is the sloth. In fact, the sloth is not even a primate. It's a sloth. Sloths are in the same group of animals as anteaters and armadillos. Sloths live in the tropical forests of South and Central America. As you may have noticed, they move 
very slowly. And they are vegetarians, which is a good thing because they don't have to run to catch their food. Sloths sleep for most of the day and descend to the ground only about once a week to urinate and defecate. A sloth's camouflage is so efficient that it is almost invisible to predators like the jaguar and the eagle. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the sloth. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. It's time to bring out our second guest from Central Africa. Africa! Uh, here is Malcolm the Lion. Oh, oh, I smell tacos. Hey, are there tacos over here? Whoa! whoa, whoa. Uh, no, no, I'm afraid not, Malcolm, but oh. welcome to the show. Oh, gee, I, I must remember to get some of those before I leave. Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't count on getting any tacos. We're one hungry family here. Yeah, well, I know what that's like. Where I live, everyone seems to be hungry all the time. Oh, oh, yeah, I can oh. show you if you want. Oh, you brought tape? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, here's a lion looking out over the horizon, hoping to find something to eat. Mm -hmm. Not a taco in sight. No, oh, well, actually, we lions prefer to eat wildebeest and zebra. Now, why do some lions have long hair and some don't? Ugh. Well, uh, that hair is called a mane. Well, only male lions have a mane. The female lion or lioness look more like other cats. Now, male lions like this fellow are also much bigger than the females. Is that male lion going out to hunt? Oh, probably not, Jake. Oh. Uh, in a pride of lions, the female does almost all the work, and the male does, uh, well, most of the sleeping. Oh, good deal. Hey, what's a pride of lions? Oh, uh, a pride of lions is what uh, lions call our family group. Each pride has around 30 lions in it. Looks like those lions just found dinner. Yeah, 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 a herd of zebras. Yeah, catching some of these would make a perfect meal for this lioness and her pride. Now, wh what's she doing? Oh, well, she's stalking. Uh, she moves in a very slowly hiding herself in the tall grass until she's close enough to strike. But as soon as a zebra sees her, it warns the rest of the herd. <laughs> and they run away as fast as they can. Oh, well, that's one good thing about tacos. They almost never run away. Yeah, well, hunting is hard work. At least I imagine it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, it seems we're always on the hunt, even for water. How come? Well, in the Kalahari Desert, where many of us live, water is very hard to find. But it's extremely important. We must drink gallons of it to survive in the hot African sun. Now, where is this lion headed? Well, that's a male lion who has been forced out of his family group because he was a threat to the leader of the pride. Oh, it looks like he found some dinner. <laughs> yeah, well... That egg won't be very filling, but it could be all he gets for a while. With no lioness to do the hunting, uh, a male lion like this will settle for eggs and leftover meals killed by other animals. Why doesn't he just hunt for himself? Well, he will if he has to. But a male lion is just not as good at hunting as a lioness, so, you know, why bother? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what makes a lioness a better hunter? Mm, uh, well, lionesses are smaller and faster than male lions, and that makes them better hunters. Well, let's watch some lionesses in action, huh? Now, good hunting is all about strategy. You can't just run after your prey, you need to plan the attack. Well, what is this lioness doing? Well, she and the three friends have found this herd of wildebeest who are grazing. An animal that's eating or drinking is always easier to sneak up on. You just have to be patient and make sure they don't see you. Now these three lionesses will get as close as they can, then hide. Then this fourth lioness will charge into the herd and force the wildebeest to run right at her friends. Most of the wildebeest will get away, but if they catch even one, it will make a very good meal for the pride. Yeah. Well, thank you, Malcolm, for telling us what it's like to live in a pride of lions. Yeah. Sounds like it's real easy for you male lions and a lot of work for the lionesses. Mm, well, lionesses are better hunters, but uh, I'm a better singer. Oh, would you sing us a song? Well, well, only a few in your family group sings with me. Well, they're right over there. Yeah. I'd love to. Let's go. And 
Because some of us are roaches And some of us are rough Some of us are stinky And some of us are Jake What a mighty mixture We're sure to make Come on, let's go, let's go, oh, let's yeah, go, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And now it's time for Animal, animal Awards. Awards. Oh, my aching ears. Today we find out which of these animals is the fiercest. Is it the mountain gorilla, East? The crocodile, Armstrong? Oh, the male lion, Stinky? Or the bull elephant? And the winner is... Do much of his own hunting, the male lion is a powerful animal who will fight to the finish to defend the members of his pride. The very fierce male lion, winner of today's Animal, animal Award! Yeah. <laughs> oh, well oh no, oh, uh, uh, we're late for today's story. Hurry, oh, hurry, oh, hurry! Oh, 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 oh. Oopsky bearsky! Whoop! Hey, come on, everybody! All right, okay. It's time You're for today's right, story! Oh, wait for me! Wait for me! Wait for me! Wait for me. Yeah. Wait for me. Oh. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, there was a chameleon named Cosmo who asked if he could join the gorilla club. Nice tail, said one of the biggest gorillas. Thank you, said Cosmo. Does that mean I can join your club? And he waited for their answer. And then one of the baby gorillas smelled Cosmo, and he said, You can join if you turn into a gorilla when I flick the magic branch. Ready, said the gorilla. Yes, said Cosmo, and Cosmo hung on very tight. Did it work, asked Cosmo? No, said the gorillas. So as the gorillas watched, Cosmo walked sadly away, knowing he would never be able to join the Gorilla Club. But he lived happily ever after anyway. The, the end. end. Oh, that oh, was a great story. Well, I was in the Gorilla Club. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah. what do we do now, oh, happy family group of mine? Follow me! Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, are you ready for Habitat Time? I was oh, afraid sorry. of this. Oh, why, well, I'm strongy one. It'll be fun if we all go together. Yeah, I think that we'd be taken together, and it's a little too far. Yeah, you know, Armstrong's right. And besides, I don't think we can all fit through the door. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Oh, but wait here till we all get back. Okay. okay. And I'll be waiting here, too. Oh, nice okay. try, Armstrong. Uh, oh. Look! Oh. African uh, savannah. Uh, uh, let's go back, Bunny. Isn't, isn't that a cheetah? No, Armstrong. It's a family of cheetahs. Oh, great. Oh, and there's a Thompson's gazelle. Well, run, gazelle. There's a cheetah around. I think those topi have the right idea. Gazelles and topis live in herds because it's safer. Huh. Hey, uh, what about that little guy? Ah, that's a waterbuck calf. And there's his mother. Waterbucks rove in small herds near rivers and marshes. Ooh, what is that? Armstrong, right. you should know it's a bird's nest. Oh, so it is. Yeah, it was built by a colony of weaver birds. They work together to weave grasses and other plant materials into a big nest with separate entrance holes. Yeah, now that's what I call a family. A large family. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, watch out, we could get run over here. Those are wildebeest. Like most of the animals who graze here in Africa, a lot of wildebeest families join together to make one big herd. Really? It's safer. There can sometimes be tens of thousands of animals in one wildebeest herd. 
two, three, four, point me out, we see this pin. During the rainy season, they scatter. But gather together again during the dry season around water holes or rivers. After the breeding season, the wildebeest begin their long annual migration. Wow, look at him go. Speaking of going, yeah. maybe we'd better get back to see what our family is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, we're back, we're back, we're back! <laughs> but they've gone! So much for family togetherness. Oh. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And Armstrong the Chicken Hawk, just back from the African savannah. Come on, Armstrong. Let's go and find out where everyone is. All right. Action. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rat, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Sir? Mm -hmm. Answer this question. Which of the following animals is the closest relative to the elephant? The elephant seal? The manatee, the rock hyrax, or the hippopotamus? Your answer. Darling, my answer is there's a lion on the show, and if I don't get out of here, you'll be notifying my relatives. Oh. Uh, and speaking of next of kin, the animal that is most closely related to the elephant is the rock hyrax. It is thought the elephant in the rock hyrax had a common ancestor. Some of this family went on to live in trees, like the rock hyrax, and the others to live off trees, like the elephant. I'm Rhonda Rat, reporting on the rock hyrax. Oh, oh, now, oh, sorry about that, Rhonda. <laughs> well, I'm strong. What's going on? Oh, uh, well, we're trying to find out why our dear little family left us all on our lonesome. Excuse oh. me. Excuse me. Whoa. Well, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank our special guests, Gilda the Gorilla and Malcolm the Lion. And remember, oh, keep... Cousin Jakey, Stinky, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. why didn't you wait for us after habitat time? Oh, well, well, gee, Bunny, didn't you get our note? Wait, what do you oh. mean, what note? Uh, it would be this note that I, uh, forgot to leave. Oh. Uh, well, sorry. What does it say? Well, well it just says that uh, we don't have to be together, uh, just as long as we're always there for each other. And that's what being a family is all yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, gee, you're right. But you know what? What? I like it best when we're all together! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah! Remember, until next time, to keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Bye-bye! <laughs>